Okay, we're back. Um, first of all, activate all the things. Not sure about this one. Let's try instead of the boost. That's a 300 poison, that's 250 physical. Was it only 17 minutes instead of 20? We hope you recall those and basically there was this huge robot team with guns and it would have been an amazing defensive asset but Hugo corrupted it so we had to destroy it. But at least it's not rampaging across the tundra now. Hmm, an ancient robot with guns. You know what this means, don't you? That we saved everyone? They swim together, star beast. But there is one, there will be more. I'll have the recorders do more research on into these creations. Perhaps there are more yet uncovered that Hugo never came into contact with. Thank you for investigating and saving the recorders. Yeah, by the way, I switched over to the red gear and I specced into toughness and damage reflection. So it's in it's insane, actually. Also 75% chance crit. Splish and power will be working on fortifications. I have offered splish a place in the central pot girl for now. Blocks! Ah, uh, kill it with fire! Whoa, it's just 10 grams, Splish. And a friend. What's going on, Ango? I've been trailing you since you freed me in the bog and been doing some exploring. I found something that might be pertinent. Oh? A huge prison with a host of Polari inside. I figured you could rescue them like you rescued me. That must be where all our podlings ended up. I think the great part they're still alive. We'll go get them out, but why don't you set them free already, Ango? I couldn't get through this the lock, but if that mean head is keeping to his ways, I bet he fed the key to the blast grabs around the prison. Star beasts, get to that prison and find the key by whatever means necessary. We must gather the full force of the pod. Django's escape plan. So cold here, probably. Don't know how you you go and stand it. Makes me feel all slow like. This suit does a good job of keeping me warm, plus all these layers of wheeled armor does a body good. You know, I noticed the plants around here grow a lot slower than back home where it's warmer. I think if I made them savannah plants cold, they'd grow slower or die, one of the two. Hmm, we sometimes have to deal with invasive species. Those plants that upset the balance of Marla. The cold might help control them. Hey, I found a good patch of space to do some experiments on out west of the central pod guard. Meet me there and we'll talk some more. Slow tempo. There's the prison compound. Do you want anything specific? That's oh, the green stone. Look at this. It's incredible. Cold. What is there? Hmm. No. 
No, I only want the big ones. Ah, oh, dang it. Help me, Flux! Okay, that can happen. If I'm here, let's collect the rest of the concoctions and the sludge and everything. Yeah, that's super effective. I also need crab, a crab egg. Um, walk me. Yeah, I think I prefer this feed. It'll go straight to your thighs. Until I'm fighting a boss or something. Maybe even then. Dang, Bamleys. I thought you were experimenting on some grass. What's this bug doing here? That was, uh, our bad. Ah, how'd you get over here, you bubble owl? This dick, what are you doing here? Mm, the slowness lets us mm, understand how to move the bug motor mm, to new lands. This was a good patch of ground for us. Hey, I was trying to do some experiments with this here ground. Mm, most sorry, mm, disordered. We're still learning how to mm, think slowly. Mm. Wait, Zistik, you figured out how to use the bug's resources to cause a slowdown in the environment? Tango was the same thing. Who's a who's it? Probably. You want me to walk with this bog spreading loon? Hmm, Kajari has a point. Hmm, we could um, use the tundra resources um, for a better slowdown. So frosty here. Hmm. Psst, Zizdik still thinks your name is Kajari. <laughs> Zizdik, what would you need to build another freezing device? A better one, and that Engo could use too. Hmm, 10 zeolite and 10 depressurized lava. Hmm. I don't like this much flux. But I'll stick around to see what comes of it. Ten zeolite and ten depressurized lava? Hang on. Come on. Get me a web browser. Crashlands Wiki Zeolite. Gultanti Zeolite. Crafting component obtained by feeding two bunions and two depressurized lava to domesticated gulanti. What the hell is a gulanti? I haven't seen one of those yet. And what is a depressurized lava? Pink bubbly lava mostly found near blue and green areas in the tundra. I think I have those. Why are you jumping? Okay, I don't know how to do that yet, so I'll have to wait. Yeah, waypoint, but where's the closest teleporter?
Excuse me. Lion bot. Big laser. Also, big shirk. Red wing shirk essence. That's probably good. Speech I might. Yeah. Come on, guys, I'm not keeping up. Bluff, bluff. There we go. Poison compound. How do I get in? Oh. I hit exactly the mark. Lots of blast crabs. the key. I need to kill all the blast crabs to get the key. Got it. Hello. was right, Hugo really does love feeding keys to wildlife. What a weirdo. Now we can bust into this prison. Hang on, last caps. gland. I need an egg. Okay, that's all the blast curves taken care of. Oven. We 
careful, Fox. Hugo likes to use powerful beasts to protect his foes. Yeah, I know. Next, Wardens. Okay. Looks like the west wing is open. Let's pass those puppies out or something. No, west wing. You saved us. You could insulate this place to keep us from beatboxing. Ah, you've missed a lot then. There's a war on. Get back to the central park guard and help Chica however you can. Thank you, we improvised a bomb for our escape, but never scrounged up the parts. Maybe the knowledge will be of use to you. Left journey, we'll go free the Polarium East Wing. Slash Fizzbang. IP healing potion. What? Holy hell! I want to make that. This is the, is the smashy heal bev, and then the carbon healing potion. This is insane. Actually. Push it up with the carbone again. Oh, I'll, I'll have to replicate it. You join us at the Central Poga, we're taking the fight to Hugo. Thank you, stranger, we owe you a great death. Death before dishonor! All right, just box. Let's go meet up with everyone and see how Chica's plan is going. I'm cold. Harvest bomb Mark Five. What's going on over here? Splish! You notice how everyone is so serious around here? Well, yeah, there's kind of a lot going on. My podlings never understood when they pushed for greater cheer at our settlements, but it has a way of clearing the mind. Heck, the alloy night I discovered I thought of while pranking a huge gallon. I think everyone around here needs some more leisure time? I do. Why don't you bring me three of these spongy pod cakes and I'll see about getting our pod more lively. Serious fun. Spongy pot cake. Uh, fish exploder, this is the Mark Three. This is Mark 4. Equipped Mark 5. Spongy pot cake. Smells like something that died, that ate something that also died after living a full life. Sends your pet into a bizarre kingdom page for 3 minutes. I'll look into that later. Last cab fire barrel. Stuffed blast cab. Blast cab incubator. So warmth. No. Mm. 
Perfect. Now we just need something to hold them in. I mean, food is good, but surprise food? Even better. Why don't you whip up this party animal? I'll surprise Chica with it sometime down the line. Let me know when you get one done. The what now? Party animal. Sure, I can make that. Leaf tongue. Fungus pod. Longest air root. And bluff bluff. It's so soft. Thank God this thing is in the jillions. this for a bit. Chica would get a kick out of it if I deliver it at the right time. Thanks for the help, I baked some more pot cakes for you. Did you get to spring the surprise on chicken? Did she ever? I nearly beatboxed it to shreds. I was so surprised. Haha, uh -huh, he should have been Chica's face. He should have seen Chica's face. The pot cakes were almost ruined, but we had a good time. It boosted morale plenty. Thanks, Blish. Sure thing. Hey Flux, I've got another idea for something to keep this place from losing all its warmth. What's that? Surprise, for you. I'll need a Gulanti blowhole and some Walljack soap. Sounds weird, but I swear it'll be good. Get back to me when you've got them. Yeah. Wait for me to actually get a Gulanti. You guys need to do this, otherwise you can't move around in this place. Uh, fish? Flux, my pod has returned, and the creepstone guard are on standby with our numbers back up. This might just work. We had a breakthrough! Not as excitedly. It should have been so clear all along, Flux. We figured out how to work Lons the Light. Build this forge. With it, you'll be able to craft some heavy duty armor that should give you an edge against the demon head. Come back to me once you got one installed in your home. I'm working on plans for powerful Lons the Light weapons. Last crafting station, I guess. What are you going to do with all this freedom, Jenga? Didn't think I'd see many more days on the open ice after being in there. I'm thinking about, well, something shameful. Shameful? You just got out of prison. It can't be that bad. I got these pod cousins, Sika and Wapush. They, uh, they've been talking about... Not sure if I can tell you. We don't care, we're weirdos. Flux breaks the ice all the time and I'm freaking a, a freaking robot. No point, I suppose, to planning on starting a farm. This is shameful because... You're surprised? Polaria are nomadic. We hunt and gather and set up temporary homesteads, like this one, along the way. It's been our way for as long as the songs go back. Where we come from, lots of people farm. People even farm in little tiny pots in their homes. <laughs> in their homes. That sounds like a bit far-fetched, but I want to see that my pod cousins get the help they need. Even if it's for starting a farm. You think you could go there and see what they need? Sika said he found a great plot. Real gem out here in the wilds. Sure, we'll check it out. Farm, farm anomaly. The 
things I've seen unless no Polari, Tendram or Brobus should ever witness. I'm sorry, Jab. Anything we can do about it? Yes, there is. I need you to blind me. What? Blind? Like, make your eyes stop walking? Yes. Why? I wish to hone my beats, my melon sense. These eyes have seen too much as is, and with greater senses I may be of use again. You'll still see the memories in your mind's eye, Jab. You can't burn those out. Then they will give me renewed reason to hone my beats. Bring me one of those emerald hand torches. We'll see if that does the trick. Okay, let's do the the torch. Oof, oof. This will take some doing. The torch is probably somewhere else. Right. Does the touch? Probably need to. Let's go to the farm then. They want to <gasps> farm. place you've got here. Ooh, weary traveler. Perhaps you would like to stop by our farmhouse for some sweet meats, dried roots, or yesteryear, or yesteryear, or home-brewed ale. That all sounds great, but you don't have anything here. Should not like that, we won't. Uh, Sika, your optimism just fuels me, you know? Fin slap. You two seem a little different than the other Polari we've met. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it before. We like to explore outside our culture, find new exciting things, not just hear the same songs. I've been working on this one that goes ba-doom, psh, psh, break it down, psh, psh, whoop. What does break it down mean? I don't know, but it's scintillating. That song sounds nice, but your pod cousin Jenga sent, out, sent us out here to help you with your farming operation. Sweet Finn, that one is. Always using his melon for good. We are in need of quite a bit of help. Our people haven't found ever, so we're kind of lacking the tools and knowledge of to actually do something. I came out here three weeks ago and have been beatboxing to the plants every night, but it doesn't make a difference. They need fertile soil, a weed-free environment, sunlight and protection from vermins. I never thought of it like that. Say, would you two mind weeding the area? I just got all the plants off this plot. Why do I feel like we just signed up for manual labor? Come on, Flux, breathe the air, feel the dirt between your toes, gardening is therapeutic. This looks so much better, almost like we could grow something on it. Hey, Sika, why is it that the Polari don't like the idea of farming? Pretty simple, when it comes down to it, possessions make people fight one another. If you have something, it can be taken. Just look at the Brubus. The Polari eschew belongings because they interfere with connecting with one another. If you have nothing to take, 
There's no need to fear anyone, and change is easier too. And why do you want to start farming? Every generation adds something to the pod zone. Push and I thought that we might be able to bring a bit of farming into the nomadic lifestyle. We set up small self-sustaining operations across the migratory routes of the Megalari. And if things get tired, we can raid them for food. The initial work is done by us, but the benefits shared with the, by the pod. It's almost like a community garden. Yeah, but right now it's a garden without any dirt. Would you mind bringing some of that feral frost in here? I think 10 or so piles would do us well to start. Yeah, I have that. Perfect. Let me arrange this in such a way that makes the most sense, given my vast knowledge of farming. No. I've always been interested in microsystems, you know? Tiny little self-sufficient worlds to themselves. No. Forgive Flux, she's been trekking across the galaxy pretty much her whole life. Terrariums don't do well in space. Why is it making noise when the noise-making thing isn't on? Or is it? Like a terrarium, exactly. To get ours going here, we need the basis of the food chain, a bunch of plants. I need seeds, not just for this season, but also for the next one. Could you bring me 10 of those flake horns and 10 of the pipe seeds? I'll store these in the ground, like I saw a humming beak do once. I'm gonna be honest, Sika, that is the least optimized pattern for easy maintenance. I'm not trying to maintain it, I'm trying to make it maintain itself. Not too bad of an approach, technically, though you don't have any creatures on this land. They will just eat everything. Yes, and now, some wampeds from the savanna would do well to keep the grass short. They had a shelter from the elements. Wampet! Wampet! It has Polari naming. We need a wampet. We need a shelter first, Flux. Juice box. Our oh, farming consultants, would you procure us seven smash blossom walls? Smash blossom walls? Smash Blossom Wall. Carbone. Crystal. Jolly. Smash Blossom Wall. How much do they want? That's a harvest bomb. Flower arrangement. Beautiful, I'll post them right up. Flux, this place is really coming along thanks to you. And me, your infinite store of farming know-how. I was thinking, we could surprise Sikra and have Junga, Jugga come down for a visit. I bet he'd be thrilled and it'd make Sikra's day. Go find Jugga at the central pod and tell him to come down here. 
You haven't planted anything yet. Flux. They're in, oh, they're in over their heads, but they're working on it. It's actually come along quite well so far. You should come by for a visit. I think I will. Let me wrap up some stuff and I'll meet you down there soon. We should get back ourselves. First, I'll deliver the torch this guy wanted. We've got a torch. With this, I'm going to become a blind boxer. Now, shove it in my face. Ah! Unfortunate, this light is not powerful enough. I suppose I could gouge my eyes with a horn. Sweet Merlin, no. Is there a brighter light source? I mean, blinding is one thing, but gouging? You could die. A fair point. Talk to Splish about acquiring a light. See if her expertise can help here. Make sure it is bright beyond the stars. Hey Splish, we need a really bright light. How bright? Like an ice cool sort of bright? Or like tides recede my eyes? Eyes received my eyes disappeared, sort of bright. The second one. Sweet, and there's ten ice pools and five electrocutes from these slabs. Aren't you worried about what we'll do with a so scorchingly bright light? Nope, your strange desires mean I get to build cool things. I think I'm getting a sense of why she was spotless. Alright, we'll bring those parts by. Just gotta get the perfection right and ba boom! Don't point this laser at your face. Let's get this searchlight built and then show it to Jab. On it! Searchlight. Don't point it at your face. Increases best critical hit chance by 20%. Needs more ice quills! No! Wait, why isn't this covered? Where did I get that? This one. Can I give you what I haven't yet? Oh, I can make the toy bubble. I'll save that for later. And the RC car. <laughs> this the foundry I really don't know how to get those components damn 
if stop time glasses. Like home? No. No. Geisel drill? No. Elcom? No. Begins bumbly to epic size. Blast crab hydrocarbon. Chev, yeah, are you ready? I am. I will hold my beats, become a hunter of the unseen, and fill my pod with glory. Here it goes. Flashes jab directly in the eye holes. Ah, my sight, it fades. Is it staying down? Indeed, the transformation is complete. Finless, thank you. I know this was an uncomfortable task for you. Sighted as you are, please take these gifts as an honor for me. Let us know if you need help finding something. Elixir of Scorching, Pipey Healing Potion, and House Bombs. Eh, not much. Let's go to the farm. Let's see how they're doing. No? What? Django have to, have to say? Is he coming? He said he'd get down here soon. We should try to get our wampets before he arrives. He'll freak. Huh, good idea. Hey, Sika. Who's the what was? Who's the what's that? Any idea how we can get one of these wampets from the savannah to heal? I've got another pod cousin. Well, he's not exactly pod, but he can get anything from anywhere to anywhere. He might be out of a jar flux. I just sent him a beatbox. Just wait a couple of seconds and it should be here. A 
Bam! <clears throat> wow, Sikon, you've got some foul floss, no weeds, and what is that? How did your podcast cousin do that? Secrets. Jagger, you came. You d I didn't think you'd ever actually come by. Our pod cousin, anything. This place is really shaping up, though your fertile areas are placed a little haphazardly. Just going to fix those real quick. There we go. You always did have an eye for optimization. Next, you're going to need a mid tier predator, both for defense and to keep the one pit in check if it ever goes off the rails. If cousin of yours have anything else, I think a Vama would be great. I'll see what he can do. Meanwhile, you should wrangle up some carbon walls for us. Another eight should do it. Um, yeah, I don't want to kill you. Carbon walls. Carbon walls. There we go. This is great, sturdy as heck. Two, two. Jagger, what did you do to Anos? I was about to head out anyway. Why don't we put the side over here? May the tide guide you. Yay! Love how that guy runs away while yelling goodbyes. I feel like I should pick that habit up. My pod cousin said he can get us a Vama. Just needs a diamond from one of those geysers as payment. Did he do a first one is free thing? Looks like it. I'll find you one. That one, nice and shiny. I'll beatbox him the news, now let's just wait for it. Wait for it... BAM! Amazing, who can procure goods that fast and deliver them? I was joking at first about you losing your job flux, but seriously, you've got some competition. Which part did you say he was from? He's not exactly of a part. We're working with an outcast? No, not at all, he's not even Polari. Ooh, this better not be a floating head, I swear I will burn this farm down to the ice. We met when I first started thinking of this farm. He had ideas and some other things to trade. He's good, I swear. Now just get us the final materials for the pen and we can have the creation of our first farm. Lux, we need something to contain the Gulanti. They're powerful, so we'll need eight Londolite walls. Yeah, that's gonna be a difficult one. Beats drumming on and on and on and on and on. Oh, you alright though? Looks like Hugo did a number on this one. Sheesh. The calls on the deep, the Magalari, don't go louder. It wants me to dive deep, dive, 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 and stay down. Alright though, Pats, is it? Let's back this up. What makes you feel better? The quiet, no beats, thunder wind, no pull to the depths. Okay, what helps you feel quiet? Onions, little two ears. Out of the shoons, keep me calm, push the beats away, always did. We're gonna bring her a bunch of those things, let's aim for 10 next time we're out. Maybe we'll have her cover. Deafening silence. Bunions. Hmm, not bad. 65 deaths. Bunions. Okay, hang on. 
Bunion. A bunion. The resource in crafting that is used as a health restoring consumable and crafting component can be planted as a potted bunion to create a renewable source. Used by the Gulanti and the Foundry. Found in the Tundra, but no idea how to get one. I need to go far. Really colored one. Oh my god, that's powerful. Is lava, and here's the bunion. This one's a bit tougher. Yeah, I need more of those. many of these things. Try bleed. Can't assemble that. Okay. What the heck are you? Oh, you're a strange one. Too small, you're not interesting. Still too small. You're interesting. Oh, damn. Hang on.
think you're all gonna follow them. Yeah. Sheer castles. Magmite Mound. Londolite. Oh, hi. Okay, we're still missing some things. Gulanti calcite. Hang on a minute. What is Gulanti calcite? Calcite. It's a component that drops from the Gulanti. Electric creatures in the blue sections of the tundra. In the blue sections of the tundra. What are the blue sections? That's just water, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean this? That... damn it. This. There they are. Find some more. Oh, I'm glazed essence. What is a gallon? In the green sections of the tundra, crystal-like appearance usually vibrate. Uh, hmm. Okay, just another cre weird creature. Liquid on. This is where I found this thing. 
Who's time? Oh my god, that's painful. That's how you start a negotiation with a grenade. Yeah, he's a biggie. Ah, damn it. Let's switch up the speed boost with this thing. And see how well we do.
God damn it. Still need more Gulanti stuff. Callum Egg. Yeah, that was close. Problem is, these guys telephones. God damn it. Got the essence.
Hello. Damn. Shine. No, nothing new yet. Thank you for participating. Finally, lots of digging around to get these. Pow will want to get his hands on them quickly. Let's get these Magmite Kings. Back to power so we can make that explosive he was so excited about. I'm back in normal territory. Wait. Aha. Nothing. Also nothing. What's with the kings and queens? 
feels like a 30 seconds to mouse, so... Okay, I have enough to build. Ow. All my potions are done. Um, and now on so in, I'll probably wrap this up. One shot resource harvesting. Yay! <sighs> yeah, I should arm for electrical resistance when I do that. Let's get the Gulanti and call it a game. Annoying.
No more Christine. Okay. Smash. Make the foundry. And you make me. What was it? Not you? No, not a lift. That should be the last station in the game. Last crap incubator. No, I got something else. <coughs> Flash is bang. Ooh. Good lanty incubator. Gallon incubator. Let's see that one. Londer light door. Lone's boots. Nobody can get through this door unless they open it. Okay, I'll do this offline so it'll be quicker. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Stay good. Have fun.